On behalf of the Israeli delegation, I would like to thank the ITU under the outstanding leadership of Secretary General Zhao and the government of Romania for its enormous efforts and wonderful hospitality. Mulțumesc pentru hospitalitate. Mă bucur să mă aflu în țara voastră minunată. The decisions we will take in this conference will shape the work of the Union and will set the, third, the direction of digital transformation for years to come. Our actions today will make tremendous impact on our societies and economies. We are experiencing a period of rapid technological changes with a significant impact of every aspect of our lives. In the past, uh, two years, the COVID-19 pandemic has highlighted the importance of connectivity and access to secure the reliable networks for everyone, everywhere. The State of Israel shares the ITU vision for an information society where telecommunications technologies support social, economic and sustainable growth and contribute to the implementation of the 2030 Global Agenda. In support of this vision, we have created key priorities for bringing the digital divide and promote economic growth and sustainable digital, digital transformation. Since the last PP, Israel went through tremendous developments in the telecommunications and ICT sector. An active 5G network was launched in 2021 with a rapidly growing number of new subscribers. We are also investing in creating an environment for 5G innovation by implementing a program for supporting the development of applications and services in 5G, which is becoming a significant growth engine for frontier technologies for the entire Israel economy. In addition, the telecommunications law and the regulatory framework in Israel were recently amended in order to adapt an emerging technologies two emerging technologies. These amendments allow us to strengthen competition, reduce regulatory barriers, and open the market to new stakeholders. One of our top priorities is, is ensuring reliable and affordable broadband access in rural areas, including small villages and the minority communities. I am proud to say that Israel is on track to deliver high-speed fiber optic networks to every home and business by 2027 by using an incentives outline and a universal fund to encouraging the deployment of these networks in rural areas. As a result, the rate of access to fiber optics network has increased, has increased rapidly reaching roughly 60% of households. Digital skills and tools are another priority for us. These are essential in today's and tomorrow's world. It is becoming increasingly difficult to participate effectively in the economy, society, and the labor force without digital skills. To this end, the Ministry of Communications, together with the civil society, are investing and developing a variety of training programs designed especially for vulnerable groups in society, including older persons and persons with disabilities, among others, especially in the uh, periphery areas. The State of Israel is also investing resources in sharing its exper expertise with the international community through MASHAV, Israel Development Agency. It has operated various programs to promote digital developments and empower individuals and communities through digital platforms. MASHAV has 
continue this important work even during the global pandemic using existing digital connectivity. In recent months, Mashav had utilized digital platforms to provide support and knowledge, especially in health practices, including mental health to medical professionals in Ukraine. Domnu Chairman, we see great importance in improving the Palestinian economic situation, including the development of the communication sector. It is our mutual interest and we, we all want to see progress made. In the past few months, we held several joint technical committee meetings and we continue to hold bilateral talks with the Ministry of Communications of the Palestinian Authority in order to implement a 4G and 5G networks in the Palestinian territories. Finally, I wish all of us productive discussions on the important issues on our agenda that will contribute to the future architecture of the ICT world. Now more than ever, we need a strong and efficient union. Israel stands ready to work with all of you for the success of this plenipotentiary. We were celebrating in the last few days, as the Secretary General mentioned in the opening uh, plenary, the Jewish New Year. Let me share with you our good wishes and wish you all a very happy, healthy and fruitful year. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.